Yaudata is a slut, said the bishop's wife. And then I decided it was time to stop playing the lost little girl. I started to peel away, peel away the layers of filth and deceit, peel away the layers that made up the little girl who said please and thank you. No matter what you'd do to her, she always had a smile, a smile that could someday pick you up and throw you away, and right then was enough to make them move along and not question. The church sucked my mother in with the best of intentions. It never meant any harm. You cannot blame gospel for religion. I tried to fit what my mother believed when she went into that water. I wanted to fit the illusions built by good men like my father, and I didn't know it was all a production put on by the self-important to secure their place in piousness and domination in the name of all that's holy. With each fragile layer, the onion poisons the air. With each fragile layer, the cake reveals another prize. With each fresh layer, a new scar is revealed. With each fresh layer, a new woman should be born. But the prizes are all fetid, and the core is black like the solitude of the damned eternity. Society is a precious thing when it's closed and secure. The complacency of trust doesn't visibly obscure the eyes, and no one is to be blamed when the system breaks down. There will always be a weak link and we must trust the Maker to keep us safe from the harm of those who do not know our God but say they do. We all knew some sheep would be lost. We all learned about slaughter. At what point is the head count high enough that he can slip away with the precious gifts of beauty, youth, and gullibility while we pray? I knew no man who knew my dad could ever hurt me like he did. And maybe I just needed to feel loved and counted, or there may have even been a moment when he convinced me it was right. Those preacher men could talk me out of my own skin. At least it seemed they were always trying. You'd never know to look at her that she could string a sentence together, said the bitter breeder freak. These were my role models. These were my mentors. They taught me what was good. When the memories come like this, I can't get them down fast enough to burn them. I want them all for myself in their entirety to look at and examine and finally turn away from once, and the disgust comes up in my back of my throat like I've been waiting for all these years. Do they even know that I just wanted love? Do they know that I believed all their lies? Do they know that they had this power? I think if they knew, they'd be afraid. All of the tiny, pricked, baggy-sacked cowards incapable of making a life for themselves and their self-righteous wives. How was I supposed to respect these women when they didn't even know what their husbands were really doing? When I was not fooled by their play-acting and games of moral superiority? Okay, maybe I don't look so good. Maybe. But if I had a husband, he wouldn't be trying to fuck twelve-year-old girls like yours is. And maybe I don't fit your image, but I won't turn a blind eye to my daughter's virginity lost at age three. And as a matter of fact, to ensure this, I won't even have a husband. I won't have a daughter. Why should I waste my time creating more victims for your weak-willed, faulty dick monsters?'